Well, imagine having to battle a fire in the middle of this heat. Now, KCK fire was so tough today for the crews, one firefighter was treated for heat exhaustion. Christina Medina joins us live with how the firefighter is doing tonight. How's he doing, Christina? Good evening. Well, the chief tells me that he is doing okay tonight, so that is some good news. But you can see the building, what's left of it, at least here at 34th and Strong Avenue in KCK. Took almost four hours to get it under control, but it felt much longer for the crews battling the fire and the heat. Right now, I'm pretty tired. I'm pretty hot. Uh, it's not so much that fighting the fire, it's, it's coming out and trying to get cool. For veteran firefighters Captain Mark Bishop and Lou Madrigal, battling this fire was one of the toughest they can remember. This kind of heat, there's no place to get cool. In the wintertime, you just take your coat off and you're cool. Summertime, it doesn't work that way. This firefighter had to lie down just to cool off. Others use this mister. Stand in front, just cool your whole body off. Deputy Chief Robert Rocha says he was worried about his crew, so he brought in extra help. We're also rotating our crews in and out so that they get plenty of rest. The fire started just after 8 this morning inside this empty warehouse at 34th Street and Strong Avenue. It was once home to a drugstore and printing shop. People who now own businesses nearby say... I'm very thankful to them that they've been able to contain it. In fact, everyone we spoke to says they appreciate the crews who battled the flames. The citizens have kicked in, give us some water. And the heat. They're real supportive of us. And that makes these conditions bearable for firefighters like Bishop and Madrigal. Now, I've learned that the new owner recently started remodeling this building and had plans to reopen it, but of course the fire changed all of it. At this point, we still don't know what started the fire, and we still don't have a price tag on the damages, but you can see investigators are out here, and they are continuing this investigation. For now, we're live in KCK, Christine Medina, NBC Action News.